Hello there, my name is Paul Shanks. Welcome to DZ Drag. I'm on this, I'm on this. We should continue. That's not what I wanted to turn on at all. Uh, then on the text box. Anywho, let's continue. Finish with her explanation in a matter of fact voice, K. Consider it the girl. この町はあなたの分身であり、今挙げ出す説は臓器のようなものですね。我々が一つずつ開くたびに肺や肝臓が潰れていく。それは最終的に心臓へ達し。その時私の いや、ボタンシっぽいのかな。わかる小さい頃に砂場で遊んだりしたあれだけど。私は砂場で遊んだような経験はないですが、ボタンをしというより地上げプラス井戸掘りですね。私たちは乾いているから湧き出てくる水
、言ってしまえば、それだけのことだ。で、Deeming that conversation over and done with K promptly changed the subject. 藤井君に会いたいとのことですが、別れの挨拶でもするんですかうん。まあ、そんなようなもの。最後に怒らせちゃったかもしれないし、いろいろとね、話したい。いろいろ、ですか。そう、いろいろ。気になる私がどんなことを話すか。おおよその見当はつきます。Was like a claim that she loves him or anything pertaining to that subject. You s h o u l d nothing that would interest Kay. Mareus Nara Kikimi Midemo Tatagaru k a m a s h i r e m a s e n g a n b u t a s h i w a r e h o d o g e s e w a j a n a i You mean that garbage, not. So you know, a s h o j a k i Mareus is garbage, remember. k e r i l a she had a self depreciating smile on her face. To you, Yuri. 想像できないので共感もできない。その手の話題は自分に置き換えることができないと楽しめないものでしょもったいないね。顔だけはいいの。<笑>それはどうも。ですが、顔だけうんぬ言うのなら、彼も同じじゃないですか藤井君は違うよ。男の子はハートが大事。Thank you! 彼のハートは、だいぶ特殊な仕様だと思いますけどね。At least one girl know what she's talking about. それは同感。でも、そこがいいの。タデクウムシも好き好き。ですか ?K made an exaggerated exclamation of perplexity as Ra considered her with mischievous eyes. よかったね。何がです今のが。女の子的な会話。無駄なおしゃべり。誰が好きとかかっこいいとか、あなたが興味ないって言ってたお話だよ。本当にそう思ってるのかどうかは知らないけど、できるじゃない。割と自然な感じだったよ。私はこういうの得意じゃないけど、それでも簡単に乗ってくるくらいだから、素質あるのかもね、桜井さん。意外に、綾瀬さんあたりと気が合うかもしれない。だったら、何です ?K interrupts her with a cold voice. 私にのんきな学園ドラマでもやっていろと。まあ、それもいいですが、あなた方の始末がついた後に堪能させてもらいますよ。今はすみませんが、あまり気の長い勝負でもないので、そろそろ本題に入りましょう。氷室先輩、あなたは私に、お願いがあるんでしょ And K could guess what it was. After all, this place, this tower, had been one of the swastika locations. この状況、至極簡単に取れる。It might have been a weekday, but the tower was still one of the most popular hangout spots in the city. K could read as many people as she wished in this place, and she had little incentive to show them mercy. She did not necessarily fancy indiscriminate mass murder, but she would not shy away from the act, provided the circumstances called for it. So, no, she carried a curl on her, but she did not want to be caught to go down. It's the who hoi in a nagarada, show will tomer a demasta carane. Beja, this is not a good thing. I got the medical again. Anatani tot the Yamete Hosi cotonan the show. That was what the girl would ask for her. But she need to say, oh, Nagasta. Conobani oite. 手を出すなと。うん。自制。Not to spread her instincts and exercise patience, but to alleviate it with something else that was what Rea meant. But the girl had neither the power nor the influence to command Kay. So what could she possibly offer to her? 聞いてくれる話だけなら。Kay would not agree to a truce, yet at the same time somewhere in the back of her mind she knew that she would probably give in to the girl. For there was another matter that bothered her greatly. Fujii kun no koto mo so da kedo, koko wa kekko oski na basho da kara, yogo shite ho shiku nai nda yo ne. So yu imi ja gakko mo da kedo, a so ko wa Mareus ni torare te ru. Da kara kanojo ni wa, mo nan laka no hanashi wa tou shita to? Hmm, ma, tori a eitsu da kedo. Rea had convinced Rosaka to help her before she even approached Kei. The girl must have walked. 
quite a tantrum to get that harpy on her side. And he was very curious how she did it. Although she was not certain whether the bait that enticed Rusalka would also work on herself. Rather, as chaos, juvenile, excitement and deep-rooted anxiety wrestled in the mind of the latter. She knows? The truth. That information was certainly held significant Kei could not ignore. It was a trump card against her, if you will. Kei could neither hear us words nor see the young man walking through the streets below. No, go away. I managed to pry most of what I wanted from Rusalka on the way, although none of that new information sounded like it would grant me tactical superiority. Yeah, you can go away. She answered all of my questions about the Kindle Constitution, even if it made me suspicious whether I could really trust the answers, of course not. Yeah, go away, little girl. Go away! I still felt a bit suspicious of it all, but her explanation made sense, so I had no choice but to react and agree. I would ask her about the locations of the remaining swastikas. She can go away now, right? この先どこが舞台になるのかあなたに知ってもらった方が戦場を作りやすいだって大量殺人を見過ごしたりはできないもんねゴーアウェイっていうよりもうハイドリ卑怯に会いたくないかなともかく何にせよ蓮くんは
うよ。大したことじゃないでしょ。Yes, it is. Fuck you. Don't agree to that. なに私 Don't you dare agree to that. m a r b l i n g e d us in complete confusion, and I could hardly blame her. That came out of nowhere. なんでだよ。なんでも何も。テレジアちゃんが、藤井君と二人きりで会いたいな、とか言うんだもん。Don't fuck yourself, you little kid. その条件で私動いてるんだから。飲んでくれないと合わせらんないわよ。子供のお使いじゃないんだからさ。どうするの言ったでしょ二頭を追うものは一頭も得ずって。女二人どっちも欲しいなんてこと。女の私の前じゃどうないよ。Okay, you are not a woman. You are a little girl. So, shut your trap. だからって、お前。Bowler by the sudden movement, I merely kept glancing between Mary and the tower where humor supposedly was. Still managed to get a hold of myself in a few seconds, and the answer was clear. There was no need to even think about it. そんなことできるわけないだろ。Good job! あら、どうして Because no one would trust you, goddammit! 俺がいない間、お前がおとなしくしてる保証がどこにもない。ここは諏訪地下だぞ。じゃあ、なーに私もついてこいって言うの欲張りね。4P ってのは、さすがにどうなの ?She's retarded. You know what? Because we know her history a bit. How about Rosaka you go to some freaking dumpster, find yourself a freaking... People living there. And you will have your foursome that you want. With them. ふざけてんじゃねえぞお前。You don't dead cast the mental image I address grass bluntly as I could. 俺はお前を信用してない。だから目なんか離せないし、マリーを預けるなんて論外だ。あの。だいたいお前何考えてこんな使いっ走りやってんだよ。絶対そういうのめんどくさがるタイプだろ。You're something like that doesn't exist. あの。その時点で怪しすぎるし信用できない。とにかく俺はお前が何を言おうとこれっぽっちも。あのマリントラフトミューフラウド、I d a 私の話聞いてよ。一人で勝手に喋らないで。Well, okay, but... でもさ。I couldn't possibly back down from this. I think that garbage would be uncertain death for us all. And yet, 気にしないで行ってきていいよ。私はここに残るから。へ。は ?What the hell did she just say? だから、心配しなくていいの。私がこの人見張ってるから。へ。見張るって言われても。私はレンの何 ?As I was still trying to press what I had just heard, Mary glared me with a bouting expression. ちゃんと頼って。言ったでしょ。霞みたいな扱いしたら怒るよって。ねん、態度が一貫してない。そういうのは。男らしくない。No one asked you. そう、男らしくないよ。Well, okay, but... そういう問題じゃないだろう。そういう問題なの。I would have loved to retort, but it didn't seem like she cared to listen. De, omae wa nani o warat ten da yo. Eh, da te omoshiroi kara. You are a comedy. Not duo, but comedy. Okay. Ii janai. Kanojo wa kou itten da shi. Wait, what? What is the word for a single person beyond called comedy? Comedy. Oh god damn it, it's an easy word. Why do I not remember it? Yoko wa kanai kedo. Kono ko, Mel Crius ni moratta no? Datta ra watashi to shitemo, sonna black box no katamari ni de nanka dashita kunai wa yo. That's a lie. Iita kunai kedo sa. So yu likutsu wa wakaru desho? I don't trust that person. Uru sai na, damatte ro yo. Our company admitted that Farcraft was on a whole other level compared to her, and I had to agree. In which case, it made sense that she couldn't lay a finger on Marie, who was no doubt under the bastard's protection. It made sense, it really did, but I still couldn't possibly go along with this, given the risks. I gave my dog a troop my head. Oh, 
いはい。じゃあ、手早くケツを出してちょうだいね。お姉さん待ってるから。Again, you are a kid. 何がお姉さんだ More like an old talk. Little kid, god damn it. I was about to rub that in her face, but at the moment I had more pressing matters on my hands. What does she know? So you walk it on my kid or not. I had no idea how to handle Mari when she was in a bad mood. I mean, I understood her feelings at all, but for the days that she turned out to be our downfall. Even if it was unlikely that Rosalka would do anything to Marty directly, someone had to be here to stop the hug if she suddenly decided to start killing people left and right. I wasn't sure if Mari could do anything about her if things escalated to a fight, and even if she could, I didn't feel like leaving her alone in a situation like that. I doubt it. She even understood what fighting meant. She might have somehow acquired a whole new palette of emotions, but didn't appear like they pertain to actually comprehending the danger of the situation. At the same time, it didn't seem like I could get far arguing her in this state. Ah, goddammit. Was there no good way of getting out of this? My point at the tower, completely ignoring my anguish. I looked back at that stupid kid, Rosalka, one more time. She in turn let out a heavy sigh. It's not good. Not good. I have no idea what sincerity you are talking about and what other gesture there was before. If you listen to me, I'll tell you one more thing. Not interested. Roska grinned me like a hen as I gave her a super look. I already know them all! I couldn't believe her. I know them all for! Hehehe! I don't have a happy feeling today. これで了解してちょうだいよ。あなたの異界は形成みたいだけど、ここで言う能力ってのは、その上にある必殺技。ぶっちゃけた話、誰のものでも知らずに受けたら、本当に必殺なんだからね。こんなの普通話さないよ。<笑>と言っても、レオンとメルクリウスだけは知らないけどさ。言い換えれば、他は全員知ってるのよ。And I'm familiar with, well, case at least. I guess Mercurius's power would do something for knowledge, right? Like, basically, he can predict everything that's going to happen, right? So, yeah. それ以外なら、誰のものでも一人だけ。こっそりレン君に教えてあげる。I know everything for God damn. いい振り引きじゃないこれ、はっきり言って、美的行為に近いんだよ。じゃあなんで ?I had no idea what made her want to see me meet him or that much. そうした方が面白くなりそうだからよ。私は私でいろいろあるの。こうまで情報してるのに、まだ信じてくれないなら傷ついちゃうな。そうなったら私、何しちゃうかわかんないな。スイサイド簡単な二択だよ、レン君。私を信じて得をするか、私を疑って損をするか。だから、Not to trust you. Mary said the same thing about the Dritva, and she was right. He did hand over Himura, I promised. In other words, I could probably trust her intuition, or rather, it felt more like I didn't even have a choice to begin with. 
Yes, Bikang could very well escalate to a battle with a cap being indecisive, and that was one outcome I hoped to avoid. If both options were bad, I had to bet on the one that seemed to be the less destructive one. My personal feelings were the main issue now. How should I proceed so I could avert the worst case scenario no matter how things played out? Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Trust what? That's basically the same freaking two choice. Come on, that is the same freaking choice. Trust Marty or Truth, Trust Rosalda. God damn it. It's the same goddamn choice. It will lead to, lead to the same outcome. By saying trust Mari, you basically trust Rosalka. By saying you trust Rosalka, you basically also trust Mari. What the hell? But we are supposed to go here. Okay. No, it was not. Right? Revealing the secret powers of one's allies was no joke. The name Hawk might have had a penchant for screwing around, but she wouldn't spill volatile information like that just to have a little fun. Nanda. <laughs> 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 Who said I trusted you? I had no other choice, okay? Or something like that. Hey? I don't know how serious she was, but I hope she didn't misunderstand me. けど勘違いするなよ。別に気を許してるわけじゃない。うん、そうね。冷静に考えた結果だよね。そういうことにしときましょうか。好きに勘ぐってろ。I broke my gaze from the smirking Rosaka and clicked my tongue. ともかくマリ、そういうことだからこいつの見張りは頼むよ。だけど無理はしないでくれ。やばいと思ったら逃げていいから。うん、大丈夫。任せといて。あ、頼むよ。じゃあ、さて。It was time to demand my part of the deal. もう一つ何か教えてくれるって言うなら、別のことがいい。え？Rascal looked at me wide-eyed. He didn't seem like she expected that kind of an answer. Learning of their powers would most certainly prove to be beneficial in the long run, and it might have been a ways to let this chance go, but there was one thing I had to know even more than that. Himuro Senpai no Kotoda. I had to know exactly who she was and what position she filled in the grand scheme of things. Nanika Wakarunara, Oshete Kreo. However, Soka responded to my question by merely. Nanda. So you got to. That's a little bit of a problem. You can't get rid of it. You can't get rid of it. Oscar Sticker turned her eyes like an evil siren. And with that singing voice of her, she. Teresia chan wa ne. Watashi tachi no ohime sama da yo. Seiso 13 kishidan kokuen taku tai 6 i. Yeah, well, I knew that. <laughs> That's not a nice way to freaking say that. Rascal declared it with a smile, and it was annoying. Hydrogen-fueled 
I completely forgot myself and everything else in that moment. I could feel my fair folds melt into anger, veiling my eyes like a black cloud. Letting my guard down in front of enemy was no doubt a mortal blunder, but remaining calm here would have been like the ninth who I was. After all, I didn't want to possess a mind that could remain calm listening to this. Ah, Renfuji was that kind of man, and protecting my own personality and empathy for my fellow human beings was a part of my struggle. So I had to pummel their ridiculous notions to dust. I would not have it such a rotten miracle. I would know everything in my power to thwart the ridiculous plan. If Himura had no other allies, then I had to stand steadfast by her side. I swore it from the bottom of my heart. I mean, she had committed no sin, nothing to warrant that kind of fate. And yet her destiny was to be a sacrificial lamb. No one in the world would wish for that kind of life. She might have been somewhat eccentric, but definitely not suicidal. The real humor I knew was a regular girl that laughed at jokes, got angry at little things, and would grow sad like any other human being. Her sole crime was having been born to the wrong people. Ruska placed her head on my forehead. I then lost consciousness there, just like the first time I went to witch. Shameful, pathetic, I'd buried myself completely defenseless in front of the enemy for a second time, letting her once again invade my mind. It wouldn't be strange if I ever woke up, that was how much of a half-witted, imbecilic action it was. At the same time, for I no longer had it in me to care about my anger or shame, only the final words uttered by herself kept reverberating in my mind without end. A complicated birth, indeed, I couldn't help but sympathize with Rea Himura. Our only sin was having been born to the wrong people. Why did our birth alone doom us to such a cruel fate? All those thoughts made the memories I had taken so much care to hide from my ordinary life resurface in my mind with renewed freshness. The past that I unable to forget sealed into a mental coffin. The inexplicable and surreal truth of my conception. I never had parents, I was told they had passed away when I was still a baby. Indeed, I was merely told this. I was given no proof of the fact. I only assumed it grew because that was what common sense dictated. I might have tried to avert my eyes from the truth, but to verify the authenticity of information, one could not ignore the credibility and the circumstances of its source. After all, nobody would trust the excuses of criminals and compulsive liars. Your name's Renfuji, you're at the same age as my daughter, your parents, my two dearest friends, passed away in ancient, eh, ancient, in an accident long before you could possibly remember. So I took it upon myself to raise you. From now on, you should think of me as your father, and my spouse as your mother, and my daughter Hikas will be your sister. This will be your home, and we will be your family. So come over here and let's all get along. I could remember those words as if I'd heard them yesterday, and I could also recall his affectionate smile and friendly eyes. If they actually sold the mask of that guy, it would be the most lucrative article embodying the very concept of loving father. And I ended up fading, uh, sorry, falling for it, even wishing it to be true. Now that I thought about it, I had actually been exposed to the exact same kind of smile and eyes over the past few days. Kasim called him nice, said that he reminded her of a father. And indeed, those two were most certainly birds of a feather. That kind of smile was in truth the smirk of a swindler. 
I should have been familiar with the nature of men that wore such faces. How could I miss it? How could I miss it? Why did I not realize it? You don't need the fact that my awareness of their true colors would look have most likely changed nothing in the grand scheme of things. I tortured myself over the fact. I could only imagine how much each and every one of my thoughtless comments must have hurt her. The mere thought of it made me want to smother myself. In other words, I put it sim most simply, Renfuji was under an obligation to save Rahimura, no matter what. I had to break this ridiculous curse if only to retain my sane mind. It was outrageous to be tortured merely for being born in the wrong place at the wrong time. I could not allow something like that to exist. I could not allow those bastards to use her as their sacrificial plaything. I suddenly realized I was awake. And we shall continue in the next episode. We'll see where this is going exactly after he woke up and so on. For now, hope you enjoyed it. And see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Bye bye. Yeah.